Someone went through that bag, right? That's like a fake out. What what happened with that fake out? And the craziest thing is, Hirata's girlfriend's pants got stolen. And I was suspecting Hirata thinking he's way too good of a person, right? He might be a case of like Kuchita where they're all innocent and he cannot be trusted. <laughs> No, very sexist of you. Very sexist of you, Susan A, but no, it's that's pretty much true. It's it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Come on now. Aina Koji. No, Sudo. Put Sudo when obviously not. Aina Koji. She hates to admit it. It's you. The Pantsu thief he has it in his pockets. She's the one that I'm more interested in. Because her bag got sifted through by somebody. And then we all thought on, on, on our first pass, right? The death of a girl was unforgivable. What if another girl did it and planted in the guys? I don't know, dude. Could you have done it, Ibuki? Why would you want to do that? Sudo's the only one stupid enough to. Well, no, no, no. I think intuitively, you're a different class. They're just staring at you. <laughs> They're not being very discreet. Her hand was. Was she digging something? What's in there? What's going on? What's with the fake out Ibuki scene at night time when someone was going through her bag and then the morning after pants to Hirata right away but the pantsu is gone. I have no hidden side after all. It might be kind of... Well, no, 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 we've seen that hidden side. The hidden side is, remember at the end of the pool episode, right? She was looking at a picture, the picture of her class having fun and she smiled. She peeked a smile. That's the real side of her, in my opinion. It's not this outwardly cold appearance that she puts on. She's been sweating the entire- You can see just like drops of sweat on her face the entire episode. I thought it's because she just sucks at outdoors, but does she actually have a sickness? Hmm? 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 Do something! No, make me. What's- a little, not. Nah, I mean, no, it's just the fucking checker fucking board. <laughs> How would you know that by touching her face? How could he know? What well, I'm good. I'm a super science lab kid. I just know. I have heat sensors on my fingers. What's wrong with you? What the fuck is going on? First, we were trying to survive against the other classes. Then, the Pantu thief. Now, Susan is sick. Also, don't forget, Koenji just kind of fucked up in the first place. <laughs> so, the hole that Ibuki dug, was, it was too obvious. Like, why would he fucking flash? He immediately came out. Baldi came out. Be careful. We have to hide our identities. Don't let people know we're the leader. Flashes the card. It's like, what the fuck, dude? The hole that Ibuki dug, or was it Ibuki? Did it have a key card in there? I don't know. I don't know. I... What's going on? There's... Okay. She has to... Yeah. But? Baldi pulled out a green card, but they're saying could be a possibility of different colors. Yes, actually, a secret chat. Why did you just dig up the ground? Wait, did he? What? What? No, this is the part where Susan fucking clocks you in the face. What are you doing? You just put mud on. No, fuck him up. Break his wrist. Actually, why did you aim it at Iona Kuchi? No, you just. Why did Iona Kuchi get dunked on as well? It's muddy Kitia. It's muddy Kitia, right? Who, who does that? Fucking just piles up mud, puts it on her head, fully aware we're in the fucking outdoors. There's no open. He should I would have killed him. Dude, there's no fucking shower. What do you want me to do? Fucking put my head in the river? Like, what the fuck? On a, on a side note, when she was walking away there, it kind of looked like she had a silhouette and not like a mud. So it looked like she had like a hat on. That kind of looked nice, actually. But, dude, who the fuck just puts mud on someone's head like that? All right, who is this? By the judging of her ass, it's not Ichinose, because we've confirmed that this isn't Suzune. Was she always just stacked? What the fuck? I guess she never really wore clothes that really accentuated her body parts, but... That was- okay. She, doesn't she actually have an illness though now? She's fucking- She's gonna get a cold for sure, isn't she? In anime, she's just gonna- If you just step aside and like step into rain, you get a cold, but 
maybe his name's built different. I still can't believe he actually thought it was a good idea. That'd be funny to put mud on someone's like hair, especially a girl. Like, that's insane to me. That is fucking insane. For what? So Susan could dunk on, do the judo flip, but then also get some fan service scene while washing her hair out there. Was that really it? What the fuck? Marikita's kind of funny though. What's up? What's wrong? Or you want to say sorry for judo flipping him onto me, or what? Is there something really? Surely it's not period cramps. Like a period is not an illness, and I assume they would have supplies to handle that. What? What's going on right now with her? Like, okay. Okay. Okay, she fucked up. Sure, what did you fuck up, though? What was stolen? No, she has The leadership card. The card? The card key. Just what? But when did she get the key card stolen? During the moment of when she was taking or cleaning her hair? Before then, she flashed the card to... I don't know Koji, right? So between when she got the mud on her hair... And now, it was stolen in, in this period of time? Ibuki, probably? Hmm. I don't know who Karuizawa is, but... Is Karuizawa the, the guy that put mud on her, her hair, or what was it? I don't, honestly don't know who Karuizawa is. No, I really don't think those are the only two options. What if Ayano Koji stole it? What if Ayano Koji stole it? For what though? I don't know, it just seems like he's like a... The type to... I, I don't know. What, what benefit would Ayano Koji get for stealing that card? Well, it's important to keep everyone else confused. Because if he's the only one with the knowledge, then it's safer that way. Unbelievable failure. Okay, but... I guess, but... That doesn't confirm... That he didn't steal it. But why would Ayano Koji steal her card from Susan? Again, I talked about keeping identity a secret. Also, I don't know what was going on with the hole that Ibuki dug as a fire. And Ayano Koji was checking the hole that Ibuki dug or where we found, we found Ibuki in the beginning, right? And he kind of smiled. What's Ayano Koji doing? Also, why is there a fire here? Huh? Who's 10? Yeah, boys, what's going on? What happened? Ibuki wouldn't have done this. It's too obvious. It's way too obvious. Look at her shock. Like... Shocked face. Does this mean she didn't do it? What's burning? Manual? The manual for what? Is it like the rules of the... Rules of the camp? Good shit. Iki's kind of coming in clutch, but... We're just getting self-sabotaged. One at a time. First the panties, then Susan's key card. Now the manual's burnt. There's so many things that's going on to distract us. There really is no one that is the culprit. No one that immediately stands out other than Ibuki just for being somebody that's outside the class. And is it too much of a reach to assume that Ayano Koji is doing all this? Why would he though? Yeah, she is. What's up? No, she was just here. Susan was just looking at. Ibuki wouldn't have done it. It's too obvious. But if she just disappears like this. I mean, the only reason she would have left is that it's too obvious and they think it's gonna be me, so I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. The spy for what though? Her class is already gone. They parted on day one, blew all their points, and went home. Right? Hirata, what's going on? He's at his fucking wit's end. He's bra he's snapping. No more cool collected Kaoma Hirata, like... He's actually fucking pissed. Of course he's pissed, because his entire thing was trying to keep the group together and the group was fucking revolting on each other. Yeah, just like how Suzune said, the weather is gonna change. Would Ayano Koji have lit the fire because Suzune said, Hey, the weather's gonna change soon for the... Like in a drastic way, and then Ayano Koji kind of looked at Susan weird, but that was because she was feeling ill and he was trying to read between the lines. I don't know! 
I'm just trying to think, like, who else could have done it? What do you mean, now then? Is this motherfucker really doing all this? Why? Intentionally trying to... I don't even have time to finish my sentence. We're back in science lab. I mean, research lab. We're back to another episode of... The Promised Neverland. Oh, it's the bell chiming sound that you always hear in the beginning of the episode. So this is kind of the show. He was the last one standing. And your prize for surviving is... Putting in a jail cell? What the fuck? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna assume that the kids are fucking called one by one as they can't perform and the best performing one kind of wins and that happened to be Ayano Koji or something. I really don't think it's Ibuki though. Is this the same place that we found Ibuki? What's with the... Who is that? Is that Ibuki's bag? It is. What are you doing? Why are you running away? Are you waiting? Turn around. <laughs> It's, they can't be her. Some of you, like everybody suspects her. Of course they do. But the fire, do you have something for the fire? You got no proof and it's too obvious. <laughs> what are you gonna do, fight her? <laughs> the key card. Could she have really stolen the key card? I know Koji has to be around, right? Ibuki suddenly is all like confrontational and like antagonistic. She, so far, she was not very sus. This interaction right now, it's very sus, right? One last bluff. One last bluff from Susanne. Here, check my bag. You can check it. I don't care. I mean, empty your pockets. Come on. Empty your pockets. No, strip down. Give me your jacket. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Well, who's, who's watching? Ana Koji, are you recording this right now? Document. I don't know. She can't. This is a super nerf Susan. Also, I don't think she has any martial arts from the beginning, does she? Why not? She putting up a stand. Ibuki, why are you doing this? So far, you were so unsuspecting. I'm gonna be very disappointed if it's actually Ibuki, because that's like that's the most obvious thing, right? Classroom the elite supposed to have really good writing to subvert the audience's expectations, but right now, if it's really Ibuki, it's, it's like I wouldn't be too surprised. Like you guys are saying, you're saying that this arc is supposed to blow my mind, right? Okay, 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 okay. A lot of kick. Oh no, Marikita. Oh no, she got mud in her hair again. Wait, it's too. Really, really, really. That's kind of disappointing. I wanted there to be some crazy kind of fucking mental gymnastics to the point where Ayano Koji was the one that did all this self sabotage. For some reason, I don't understand yet. Come on, judo flip. Oh? Oh, wait, one punch? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> I wonder if Manabu taught her anything. Involved in what? In what? What are you suspecting her of? The arse? Huh? So it's unconnected. You were suspecting Susanne of the arson? I don't know. I don't know question. Did he do that? Well, why? I, I don't know. I don't know. But the key card, she clearly stole it. But the fire is different matter. She wanted to confirm something. That was a kind of a heavy kick. What are you doing? Are you working with... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. The mud makes it look like she's fucking bleeding on the other side of her face. Who? Who? I don't know. The boyfriend is here. The item you You requested her to steal it from her? Of so, my guess was right. 